Your mill is cutting out of square, so is mine. In today's video I'll show you how to fix it and trim in the mill. These benchtop mills can be out of square in different ways. You'll notice it when you're fly cutting or face milling and in one direction the cutter is only cutting with the leading edge and on the other direction the leading and the trailing edge are cutting. Or your parts are simply not square. Basically you have two different problems to tackle. Either your column isn't square to the work surface or the gear it had. Or if you're lucky both. To check the column for lean, place a reference square on the table in the direction of the x-axis and crank the whole head up and down. Now you know on which side the column is leaning. You can either scrape the two mating surfaces, cast an epoxy impression or shim it, which is what I'm going to do. You can either use an old feeler gauge or buy a specific shim stock which costs like 20 bucks. Now lower the head on a block of wood and loosen the column bolts. To create a gap, lower the head which will pull the column up. I am using a 0.05mm shim, but don't stick it in the whole way. You want something to hold on to if you have to remove it or change it. If possible, use a torque wrench. It helps to get accurate readings since the column is bolted down always the same way. And you also don't want to strip the threads in the cast iron base. Crank the head up and down again and check if you're happy with your result. If not, change the shim size. To check if the head is leaning in one direction, lower the grill against the reference square. Or you can sweep against the table surface. Slightly loosen the three bolts which connect the head to the saddle and tap it in place. I found it works best if you're off by let's say 0.1mm. You set the indicator to zero and tap on the head until you read 0.05mm or half the error. Once you are happy with the head alignment, torque down the bolts and check it again, since it usually shifts around quite a bit. Now to the complicated part, head or column knot, or both. There aren't any adjustments for the knot, so you have to shim it, but shimming reduces overall stiffness so it's a fine line between accuracy and stiffness. The issue with knot is, if you set your column square to the table, it might be the grill isn't square anymore, so you would drill holes at an angle. On the other hand, if you shim your column so the grill is square, your column might be out of square, and if you move the head up and down, you lose positioning. Granted, you could also shim the surface between the head and the saddle, but this would also decrease stability. I personally value straight holes more than perfect positioning when moving the head up and down, since I can always re-indicate a feature. To sum it up, the column is checked against the reference square by cranking the head up and down. The grill or the head is checked by extending the grill against the reference square or by sweeping against the table surface. I ended up with a 0.05mm shim on the right side and a 0.02mm shim on the front side of the column. These values gave me an overall deviation across a 200mm sweep circle of 0.03mm. I know, scraping or epoxy would have gotten me better results, but as it is currently, my skills are the limiting factor and not the accuracy of the mill.